cattle out. You guys better come home. Gonna get run back in. Come on. You need to go back out to the field. Go on. I think they're coming. I'm gonna go out there. They were checking the calf. I think their mama has abandoned, so. They'll come and get them. Yep, got a bottle baby, I guess. Okay, I wanted to show you all the sweet Annie. I almost forgot to, but I decided these need to be repotted and I had three seeds that come up pretty good and then I had another one. What did I do with it? Oh, it's right here. I hope I didn't disturb it too bad, but I have one more that's just starting to come up. And that was just from the bag that I got last year, a little tiny, uh, little plastic bag. And I thought I saw some seeds in it. So I kind of pounded on it and put it down in the dirt and just kind of tapped on it. And I did have three of the plants come up and then here's another one. So I'm gonna put these in a little bit bigger pots by themselves and repot them and see how they do. And I'm also in the midst, I've already done some more, but these are flowers here that I'm gonna put in separate pots. And I already put my jalapeno peppers and my, like, what are you, the green peppers. I can't think of, you know, kind of using cooking. <laughs> I just went blank. Anyways, I've separated all those into different pots. And now I'm going to put these in bigger pots because they need to be up potted. And then I'm going to plant some tomato seeds and things like that that come up and germinate faster and don't take quite as long. Okay, I'm very carefully... That one's still, okay. Where's my extra, I don't wanna grab that thinking that's extra dirt. Just very carefully and gently up potting it by itself so it's in a pot by itself all right there's one done okay this is a little one i need i don't really want to use that a little more dirt in there make a little hole for it A little one. They're real hardy once they get out in the garden and start growing. They grow tall and big and the stems thick. And do this last one. Got a pretty good root. See, the roots are coming down all the way in there. So I'm trying to stick him down in the dirt. All right, I have those three repotted and I'll go, I'll make two more of my uh, labels so I know what they are. I hope I'm in frame. Yeah. So I'll just make me two more labels and put them back out on the, in the little, uh, greenhouse tent that I have out by the, out in the pool table room. 
and it's set beside windows and I do have grow lights. So I'll fix those two labels and put them out there and hope they grow. Well, it's the next day after repotting a bunch of these plants and it looks every, looks like everything's doing good. No drooping, they're all standing up, looking good. And down back right, let's see if I can get back in there. Right there is my sweet Annie. There's one, two, three. Now where's the little bitty tiny one? Oh, it's still doing good, if I can get to it, yeah. So, four of them out of four that came up, they're all still doing good after I repotted them. And I spent the day yesterday working on this and some other things, started some tomatoes and some more plants. So, I'm going to head to the craft room today and try to get at least one project done with this video. But I wanted to show you everything is looking good. So now I'm off to my craft room. Well, this is what I'm gonna work with today. This is a crow that I got at the thrift store for 50 cents. And my husband brought me home some longer pieces of this uh, two by six. Yeah, I think that's six inches wide. And then I have spindles. So I'm thinking, of course, I'm going to redo the crow because it's pretty scratched up. I'm going to paint it black and distress it and wax it. Pretty sure that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to fill in one of these holes, probably this one before I start with some spackling. And I'm thinking this already has some screws on it on each end. Let's see. I can drill a hole and then wind that up in there. And then I can drill a hole and paint this, drill a hole in the center of that, and put this one down in it. It almost goes through, but it's got about a quarter of an inch. No, about a... <laughs> eighth of an inch, I'll bet. But I don't think it's gonna go all the way through. If it does, I'll just bring it back out and cut a little bit of that off and make that stand. But I want something to hang down, you know, like if it's like that, I want something to hang here, to hang down. It'll be kind of a porch sitter. But that's what I'm thinking for this project. Let's do that. Make a porch sitter. Okay, I'm pretty sure I want it sitting like that, not like that. Yeah. So I'm going to fill this hole in. I'm going to take a little bit. I don't know how deep that hole is. Pushing it down in there. Let's see this one that goes that came with it. Okay, I've almost got it filled in. It won't really show anyway, but I want it filled in. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And I've got to figure out what color I want to paint this because I definitely want it painted. It's going to be for the porch. I'm probably going to go green. I'll bet you I go green. And then this bottom, I might just leave, kind of stain it. Okay. Then I have my drill and my bits here. And I'm going to size my bit and drill a hole and see if I can't get that to screw in there. And then do, after I paint, well, before I paint it, I'll get a center and drill a hole in that one. 
Okay, I'm going to do, I've got this size bit. I am going to test this and see if it's okay, that size, before I do it. I don't have to go all the way down in there. Let's see. That might be too big. Oh, no. That is just right. Just the right size. Good. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll find the center. I'll draw an X. I'll find the center and I'll drill a hole in that. And I'm going to drill a hole in that. There's already a hole here. I just need to make sure I keep it level and go in the center and not come out the sides on this. Not do it crooked. Same with this. So I'm going to have to do that off camera because I'm going to have to stand up and look and can't film it. All right, that's my plans for this. I want to have that ready to go and then I'll start painting and figuring out what I want hanging down on it. Okay, that worked, that, that worked good. I've got this one drilled and it goes in there good and I've got this one drilled. I'll take this out now though because I'm gonna start painting. And like I said, I gotta make something to hang down because I want it, or should I make a welcome sign? I don't know. I gotta figure out what else I'm gonna do. This project's easy, but it has, you know, several things to be done on it. So I'm going to get started now that I have that drilled and I'm satisfied that's going to work. All right, here I go. I'm painting this black. Boy, that paint has got stuff in it. Or that looks better. And then I'll set, uh, distress the edges and go over it with a brown wax. And that should make it keep the, should seal it in and make it keep, look better and not be all scratched up. And more, I just don't, this black looks grayish and faded. And then for these pieces, I'm going to use the, the uh, Colonial Mustard. I'm thinking on the bottom piece in the green on this stem is what I've decided because I need color. It's going to be sitting on the porch with my flowers and stuff. I want color. But that's my plans right now. We'll see if they change between now and then. Okay, everything has its first coat, and that Dixie Belle green, that that goes on really good. I mean, that's the first coat. I've got some spots running, I see right there. But this uh, spindle was uh, really, it needed to be sanded back or sanded down some because it had a shine on it. It was... But that is really sticking good. I can tell once that dries and I give it the second coat, it will be fine. And that, the crow is only, that's the only coat I'll give it on it. As soon as it dries, I'm going to distress it. And I'm going to let these dry, both of these dry, and give them a second coat. But now I've got to figure out what I want to, like, hang right, right here. You know, the crow will be up here. And I want something hanging down. I'm going to let these dry and keep thinking, trying to figure out what I want. I don't know if I want a welcome sign or a primitive, maybe a primitive star hanging down. I don't know. I'm going to be thinking on it. But that's where I'm at so far with this project. And I can't remember if I told you what colors I was using. I'm using Dixie Belle. Yes, I remember saying Colonial Mustard. But I don't remember telling you the English Ivy. But that's the two colors I'm using. Okay, I think I'm going to just make a big sunflower to go on that 
post hang down on it because, I mean, that's very fitting with a crow. So I went and found me some things that I thought would work. I think the size of this plate here, this little poly pie plate, works. Oh, isn't this plate cute? I got some of these at the thrift store, and I've been looking for these ever since I got it. This Corel, I love Corel, and it has the sunflower and bees, and it says seeds, five cents, and it has the black. I just love them, but what I found is, it's probably been two years ago or more that I found the, uh, we eat off the, not a dinner plate, I guess maybe it'd be a salad plate. They're just smaller plates. And uh, then, then I found a couple of these all on the same day. And I've been looking for them ever since, and I've never seen them again. But anyways, this is, that's neither here nor there for the craft, is it? But this is what I thought would work. And I'm using muslin. It's This muslin here is a little thicker and heavier and nicer than my other muslin that I bought at Walmart. This is from... Uh, muslinfabric.com and I'm going to use for the center I found I think this will work the right size for the center and this burlap is also from them too I'll link both of these down below I love this burlap it's a heavy weave and it's it's good for crafting and stuff like that so I'm going to use the canning the a large canning jar ring and then this plate here for the flowers, I'll just, I have this doubled. I'm just gonna trace around it and cut it out. And the same with this, I may have to get a, I don't know if that's gonna, sh yeah, it shows, okay, I'll use that. And that's gonna be my center. And instead of sewing the center onto my flower, I am just going to I think I'm just going to hot glue it. Use hot glue. All right, I'm going to cut both of these out. And I'm not leaving this this color. I'm going to paint it. And I'm probably going to use the same yellow that I used. Let me get these out of my way. On the bottom of my stand. And this... After I get it on the flower, I'll probably paint it up also. Make, I like this for the center of the flower because it's a little more textured than just regular material. But I'm going to try that and see how that looks. Okay, I'm just going to take that same color, uh, the Dixie Bell, what was it, Colonial Mustard, and paint my fabric, and that'll give it some good texture, make it a little stiffer. I don't have to go all the way to the middle. Come back here. But I'm going to do both pieces of fabric in this and do something with that too. Probably a, I don't know, coffee diet or my cinnamon mixture, maybe cinnamon and coffee mixture on it. Haven't made up my mind yet. This will take a while to dry. It's easy. I love making these flowers. Make them whatever size you want. Whatever color. Whatever center. Let's see on the back side what it looks like. And to find somewhere to hang it while they dry. Alright, I'm going to finish doing both of these muslin pieces like this. Okay, well, my little petals are drying. I've just got them propped up on a jar. 
I'm going to, I think, I hope this is not dried up, do this in black. Probably going to have to get some more. Let's see, I need some more black paint, I'm pretty sure. Not much. Okay. Doesn't have to be totally covered. And then, so that's a good texture for a sunflower. Now, I'm just going to sprinkle some cinnamon on it and rub it in. I like the way that looks for the center of a sunflower. Now I'm going to let that dry. My flip petals dry or my circles dry and I'm going to, I believe, just hot glue it on. But I'll come back when I'm ready to, when this these are finished drying and I'm ready to put it together. We'll see what it looks like. Well, these are dry and I just went ahead and crumpled these up. I don't know why, because give them some more texture, I guess. And I think what I'm going to do is just take my batting and just glue some down to that. These are a little different than what I've made before. See how we'll see how it turns out. I got glue on my fingers. Now I think I'll put just a little bit more right in here. Maybe too much, but we'll see. Should have got my larger glue gun out. All right, I'm going to get a glue stick ready because I know I'll probably need it. Now, find the center of this. That looks all right and start gluing it down. No sewing on this one. I might be a little off center, but it's a sunflower. Gotta hold it a little bit. It's not real poofy. Let's see how far around. Ouch, that stuff's hot. Come out of it. Yeah, I'm needing a glue stick.
think I have it all the way around. I'm checking it. Okay, now my other one. Open it up. Put it down on here. And then I can see the outline of that one so I can go this feed my glue stick down in there. And just lay it down on there. Kind of wished I'd have used three pieces of material. I think that would have made it a little fuller. That glue's showing where it's coming out. Take my scissors and start cutting my petals about an inch apart or three quarters inch, just anywhere. in between there. There's not enough for three petals. Now, on the underneath, I'll go in between the petals. I'm almost to the end. Yep, I am. Now, I think I'll take my wax, since I gotta wax my uh, other pieces. And age up the flower a little bit. drives me crazy. I should have been a little more careful with the glue. I, I do that, do this, so I don't just get a glob somewhere. Whoa, like that. Maybe. Ah, that'll work. It'll be all right. Yeah, I think wrinkling it helped it too. Go on the underneath of it. And I'm using the uh, Top Coat by Jolie. 
in brown. If you don't like it that look, you don't have to do this. Go around the center a little more. Kind of go over in here but too to keep that cinnamon seal it in. Turned it over, going on the back side of my flowers, petals. Okay, I think that's good. Just kind of wrinkling them up. Okay, I like the way that turned out. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna hang it onto the post though. But while I have my wax out, I'm gonna get my other pieces and wax them a little bit. Kind of give the yellow a darker color. And it'll also seal it. Looks good. What did I do with that one? Oh, I get a little off of that. All right, set that aside. Where's my? I've lost almost. Oh, there it is. Over there. What did I do with my crow? Oh, I see him. <laughs> Not like y'all can answer me, right? Do this, and then I'll wipe it back. It's straight on the paint. Didn't put any clear wax on it. stuff off my fork area. Heat gun was rolling off. Now, find my crow and do him too. And then I can put it together and figure out how I'm going to put my sunflower on there. 
Now, to my crew. I've taken him out to the garage and sanded him down a little bit. I had in mind, if you remember, if you watched the haul where I said I got this crow, I had this stick and I said, well, I'll just stick it in there and stick it down in a flower pot. Well, that was just too boring, I guess. I was gonna repaint him, I knew that, because he was all scratched up, but I decided to try my hand at this. If I don't like it, I can take him off of my and stick him down in a flower pot. Now, kind of wipe him back. Polish him up. Keeps that black black, a richer color. Now, I have to put all this together. I'll be putting one of these in to there, in there, and one here. And then I'll find a way to attach my flower. All right, I'm gonna go do that. I can't really do it on camera. Can't get the angle right. And it just, I'll just take this and start winding him down in there because I have him all cut. I mean, I have it drilled out and that's drilled out. And then I'll just start putting the finishing touches on it.